man, it's a lot of work to get out here. I don't usually show my my effort on getting out to the woods, but it's a haul for sure. So today, Scout and I are out here. I've got to shoot a few videos, probably three, knock three videos out. And I'm going to spend about five hours out here, cook up a lunch, just hang out with the dog. It's nice. It's pretty warm today, about 10 degrees, so it's almost Christmas. It's crazy. Should all be snow, not puddles. But... Thanks, climate change. What do you got? <laughs> you ain't gonna make it through. <laughs> there you go, good boy. That's using the old noggin, eh, bud? Okay, just leave it there. Let's go. Come on. Ah, ah, <laughs> it's a little muddy. Oh, you got it up here, did you? Good job, bud. He's carried it up all that in between all the thorny stuff. Surprised. Surprised he could get it up there. He couldn't be more proud of that thing. Hey, you got your stick, big guy? I'm just liking this pack more and more all the time. Again, it's the Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck. Um, it's just finding more and more things I like about it. So I've already gone through it all and everything, but look at this. So my bow and my frying pan will both fit in the molly on the side and they don't take up any kind of room on inside or anything. They both worked out really, really well. So the frying pan, super slick to get out. It's like the perfect width, the handle. It's just got this metal handle, it's a non-stick. I haven't used it on the fire yet, but we're gonna try it out and see. And this one, it takes a little bit more effort to get it out. It's gonna take a ton of effort to get it out now because it's on film for sure. But there we go. My old willow bow for my bow drill. I've had this thing for a long time. When I first started doing bow drill, like, I don't know, over 10 years ago. So this is super old. So first things first, I wanna get some firewood. I'm getting a little chilly and hungry and I wanna get this fire going. Fire's gonna go for, I don't know, I'm gonna let it go for about an hour before I cook so I have a nice bed of coals on it. I don't wanna cook on flames. So I'm on the search for hardwood, which shouldn't be too hard here in the hardwood forest. I think I found a good piece of firewood. It's a dead maple, I believe it's dead. I know it's a maple, I believe it's dead. So to test it in the winter time, if you, if you don't know, Little little cut with your knife, and it's brown underneath. It's all good. Yep, all dead. So we gotta get this bad boy down. And you know what? It's fun to use a saw. I mean, sorry, it's fun to use an axe and all that stuff. But uh, completely honest with you, in this close proximity to this other tree, how small this is and all that, there's no need to use an axe. I don't want to ding this other tree up by accidentally missing this tree and hitting it. And this, this saw is so much easier and faster. Honestly, um, there's a romantic thing about using an axe to chop down a tree, but in this situation, it just doesn't apply. I'd rather use my axe for splitting up the wood, to be honest with you, so. Uh, how high are we? I guess I'll have to adjust the camera so you can see where I'm cutting. So in a tree this size, that's all I want to do. I cut through halfway, and it's gonna start leaning that way. I don't want to keep going. Because it's just going to bind. See it? It's just going to bind my saw. I'm surprised it hasn't already. So I'll just take it out. 
turn around and just go like a quarter of an inch higher. And that'll fall any minute. I'm just gonna help it because I don't want it to fall onto my camera. There we go. Nice, has a nice hinge on it and everything. So you can see the hinge it made anyway. Worked out pretty good. See, I didn't need to use my axe at all. Now I gotta carry it back for no reason. Now I'm an advocator of using an axe. I really enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite things to do in the woods, but sometimes it's just not applicable. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just easier and smarter to use your saw. But we'll use our axe splitting this up, no problem. silky's cut on the pole and once you realize that it's a lot easier to cut wood you're not trying to force it forward at all and that's where it's kind of jams when you force it forward so if you're just easy on her and only pull hard on the pole pretty good if you don't have a sturdy uh, base to work on or if you're, you're finding it hard to saw another option is to just kind of hold it upright prop it with your foot and saw it sideways. A lot of the times I find I get an easier cut that way. Again, you just kind of hold it with your foot, right? You just prop it up. And you can still cut it to the size you want, just go down as low or high as you want. I find you get a lot of force this way, I'm not sure why. Pretty easy though. So off that one maple I took down, I got all this wood. And that can definitely be more than enough that I need for all, all day today. By where I'm gonna have the fire, I don't have a working log. I don't have a substantial log on the ground like this. So I've just come over, it's about, I don't know, 50 feet away. And I'm gonna work here so that I have a substantial log so that I'm not work, working on smaller stuff and there's no chance of it rolling around so I, go, I don't cut myself. There's less chance of me cutting myself at least. So I don't have to break these down too small. Uh, because I have some other stuff I want to work with, but this is too much to burn for a lunchtime fire. I, I don't want to be here all day waiting for my coals to die down. So the smaller pieces, the, the, the smaller the coals, or the less uh, strong the coals are, I guess. You're okay, stop. So I'm just going to split it down easy like that. This maple splits pretty good. I'm not going to exert too much energy or anything. Bring the wood down with the, with the axe and it kind of does the work for you. Here there's a knot in this one, so it might be a little bit different, but we'll see. Nah, nothing at all. I actually might even leave, because I need a, a base for my fire, I might leave these pieces long, but I put this down and have the fire right on top of this, so they're flat, It'd be nice and easy to strike a fire steel against. And it'll add to my coal base, and it keeps the wood or the, uh, the fire up off the ground, which is, which is important. It rained all day yesterday, pretty wet in here so this is all I was doing to split so I'm just putting my, my axe face and my axe right on the wood and I'm holding the wood with my hand and holding the axe with my hand and I want to bring it up I'm not gonna hit it here I want to hit so that the wood where the axe is hits the, hits the bottom of the wood that I'm working on you just want to watch out for your knuckles back here that you're they don't get smashed so if you want you can move your hand up here I just hold my hand away from it, but it might be a good idea to say to hold it up here just until you get comfortable with it. Then I move my hand down there. Just watch you don't smash your fingers. There's a couple different ways you can doing this, and it sucks. 
it hurts a lot. <laughs> but again, if you don't want to do it like that, there's nothing wrong with one of those, right? And you just kind of break it after or hit it on the other side. Like that. So I'm collecting some thin twigs as well, probably about pencil size, pencil lead to pencil size twigs. And you might be wondering yourself why I'm doing this if I was splitting down wood already, why don't I just split down the wood and get, get the dry pieces for this size too? Well, the answer is because I don't want to, because this wood is right here, readily available, just break it and it's there. I don't have to split it down, I don't have to do all that stuff. This is easier and it'll work just as good. This wood is up off the ground and it's dry, it's dry-ish. Um, it's dry enough to go, that's for sure. So I will still make shavings out of my wood because in my area there's really not a lot to, to have natural materials from. Um, you can do leaves, you can do some barks and stuff like that. But the easiest and, and most convenient for me is making just wood shavings and striking my fire still right on the wood shavings. I already brought the rest of the wood over. There we go. And I'm going to make these into stakes. And I'm going to try to stake a smaller piece of wood in place. That, so that it won't move so that I can work on it. Should be relatively easy. I'm gonna have to grab another another two because I messed up splitting that one. So I'll grab another two of these, split them into stakes, and meet you over there. This is the log I wanna work on, right? And I just wanted to show you, I'll do it beforehand. Like, it rolls, right? If I wanna split this, I am potentially, see that, that's not, that's not safe, right? So, potentially be in problem with this with this spinning or rolling my solution I think in my head at least is to hold it in place Okay, so that's that's pretty sturdy now. That's pretty stable. Yeah, that's stable enough to do to split on. At least some small stuff. Nice. So silly me. I don't know what I was thinking. If I pounded these in on the other way, crossing it would held it a hell of a lot better. There was nothing wrong with the way it was holding what the way I had it, but. This just makes sense. Right? Makes sense to me. Right? Because then now it's going to grab it as opposed to letting it bounce. Whereas before it could bounce out because these were shaped the other way. Derp de derp derp. Still learning. Still learning, boys and girls. Making these big slivers on purpose to go after my shavings. So, got a bunch of those next to my shavings, and this fire is going to go up real good. I'm going to use the fire steel to light my fire today. <laughs> For those times when you've lost your fire steel in the Pacific Ocean. So for comparison, this is a big fire steel, right? Look at the size of that thing. 
a subscriber sent this to me. I thought it was really cool. So it's really, really big, and uh, I want to use it to start the fire today. I'm going to take my finest curls. I'm going to put them down first, and that's what I'm going to strike my fire steel on. I'm going to add the 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 more coarse curls after that, then the, sl the slivers, and then work my way up from there. Man. This thing's a beast. nice throw my sticks that I gathered right on top right now I want everything on it all at once Scott you're gonna have to move buddy the smoke's gonna get you okay. because this is a cooking fire I want to get a nice bed of coals like I was saying I'm gonna throw a bunch of good sized pieces on right away just throw a bunch of them and uh, It'll probably take a while, maybe 40 minutes before I eat or so. I've been out here for a while already, a few hours. I always pack a cliff bar with me. I noticed the toe of my axe is uh, a little dinged up when I was using it earlier. So I have my uh, little sharpening kit. Still using the same old full Niven DC4, broken in half and everything. I'm just gonna use the, uh, the ceramic side because it's not that bad. I don't really need to hit it with the diamond. The axe I'm using today, because I'm sure somebody will be curious, is uh, Sandvik, one and a quarter pound head, and it's on a 20 inch Gransfors Brooks handle. My friend Mike handled for me with just a wooden wedge. So for years, I've had um, a 19 inch Wetterlings and it was a great ax and I really like it and I still do. But this has taken its place. Um, the head isn't half as wedge shaped as the Wetterlings is. The handle's nicer, it's thinner. I love a thin handle. It's a good ax, man. Really, really good ax. So my ding is up here at the toe. Just trying to spend as much time there as possible. Still touch up the rest, I want to keep it even, but that's the sore spot there. My little leather strop I carry around with it. I love these pants. Well, it's died down enough for me. I'm, hu I'm hungry. I've been out here for too long without eating, so time to eat. All right, so I have to redeem myself after my mishap the other day with Mike. I dropped the eggs in the, in the fire, so I brought out pretty much the same stuff. I'll make it a little bit different way, though. So first goes on this turkey burger that got kind of well, maybe a little too warm and smushed in my bag and kind of falling apart but I'll make it work get this paper off here uh, I don't know about that one hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll see now I'm gonna melt this butter in my pan because I'm gonna cook the egg in the pan Normally I wrap them in a paper towel and put them in my billy can. This time I just was careful. I just wrapped in a paper towel and it was fine. The pan's getting some heat in it now. Not nearly hot enough. Normally it would turn white right away. Yeah, it's going there. It's getting there. 
no English muffins this time. We got bread. That'll work. It's okay because that, this uh, was actually a burger, not a not a breakfast sausage, so it's a little bit bigger. Everything's working out pretty good. Bread's getting toasty without getting burned. Um, this egg is should. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Nice, nice. I didn't pop the yolk on it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to try and flip it without that happening. Let's see if I can do that. Bam, son! Oh, yeah. Things are happening today. Oh, oh, what's that? Marble cheese. Marble cheese to go on that piece. Yo. Bam. It's all done. Uh, bread's toasted. Nice and crispy. Not burned at all. I've cut into the turkey burger, and it's done. So now, everything's good. I think uh, I'm just going to butter the one piece because it's going to be easier. I'll dip it in. So, I'm going to get this egg onto this piece in one piece. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. And then if I do this, all is well. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. You can't buy that. You know that, right? You couldn't go somewhere and get that. Well... I would like to think I've redeemed myself from my mishap the other day. Too bad Mike's not here to enjoy it, but here's to you, buddy. Look at that yolk. It's like soft boiled to perfection. Oh man. I think, should I give Scout some? Oh, he's a good boy. Let's give Scout a nice chunk. So Scout doesn't eat kibble when he comes out, guys. I get a lot of questions about that too. I'm giving him a quarter of my sandwich, okay? I'm a human being. And I'm giving my dog a quarter of his sandwich. He doesn't eat kibble when we come out here. He won't. I've tried it. I've tried it on multiple day camps too. I really like this little pan. It's just like a stoneware. I picked it up specifically to cook eggs in because it's super non-stick and it's about the right size. They uh, omelets in it too, really easily, flip them easily. And the fact that it fits in that side of the backpack, bonus. You gotta love that, look at that. And then if I didn't have my, my bow here, which I might just leave here, I'm not sure yet, it fits a lot better. Um, it kind of rounds out the top portion of the backpack, see what I mean? Like it just kind of fits in there pretty good. Uh, with the bow in there, it kind of stuck out, but I can even carry the bow, no big deal. Look at that, like it was made for it, eh? Like it was made for it. Gotta love it. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Been out here for since 10 and it's two, so quite a while. Daughter's at her grandparents and I don't wanna over, overstay her welcome because I wanna be able to come out to the woods again. <laughs> so I had a good time out here. Um, ate some good food, shot three videos. I don't know what order I'll put them up, but they'll be up shortly. I'm trying to get videos out for you guys two or three a week. Um, sometimes it's difficult. And sometimes they might be at home and stuff, but I'm trying. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope that the amount of time that you put into watching this video, you don't feel like you wasted. And if you like this kind of stuff, you want to see more of it, I would really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe, and share, because that helps me out greatly. And that will be the thing that keeps these videos coming. So, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon on the next one.